If you're into action sports or you're getting into action sports, being able to take a slam is a crucial skill that you're gonna have to have that you're only gonna get by taking a lot of slams. Ooh. So my goal in this video is to give you guys tips on how to take those slams better because I personally have taken thousands of slams and I have a slam that we're going to break down and go through because it was a textbook perfect survival like scenario where like I could, it could have been way worse, but all the years and all the things that I have learned help me not die. So we're going to go over the video, we're going to go over some tips and hopefully these can help you guys not get broke off. Now every slam is different and unique in its own way, but hopefully something in this video will click when you're taking a slam and you could survive it. So enough talking, let's jump into the clip of me killing it. All right, so I was riding my summer board and we were just cruising down a path. I hit something weird and then it gets, it gets crazy. Here we go. So we're cruising, hit something weird, lose my balance. Oh man, we were going about 15 to 20 miles per hour when that happened. And if we uh, go check it out, so I'm cruising, I had something weird with that black thing. My body weight now gets off. And that's usually why you fall is your body weight gets pushed to one direction. Now you're off balance. So my center of mass got put to the heel edge of the summer board. And then I was, I was down right there. I, right there, I was like, oh, I'm falling off this thing and we're cruising. So it is very important to notice when you know you're gonna fall. Like if you can do that, if you can figure out like that, like moments of like, oh no, I'm going down. It's crazy how everything slows down in those moments, but when that happens, you got these micro millisecond thoughts that just are like, bah, 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 and that's how you can save your life. So right here, I notice I'm going down, my foot comes off the board and I plant it, but my other foot doesn't get off the board. I'm still standing on the summer board, which is all the disaster. Because if I could get my other foot off, I probably would've just been able to run it out. But my foot is stuck which then the board does a 180 and now I'm off balance again. My weight got thrown over my right leg. I'm fully like tilted right here. So now I start running, trying to run it out, but my weight, my big old head is still pulling me to the ground. So when this foot planted, I was like, oh, you're not running this out. You are going to the ground. So I had two thoughts. First thought was save the camera. So my arm will go up in the air. Oh, no, it plants down, but I knew it was going down. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. When I hit, I'm gonna zoom in. You can literally see I'm looking at the camera, trying to make sure the camera doesn't smash the ground. Also, I'm holding the camera, which always makes this type of incident way worse when you have the camera, because that's another thing. I'm putting you off balance. I had it like mega sticked out. It was the Insta360 X3. That's why the pole has disappeared. If you're a skier or a snowboarder or anyone doing action sports, this is the best camera for that, especially with the 360 option. So get yourself an Insta360. They're insane. So once again, my head is fully bent over. My weight is all over. I'm trying to run and I can't. So now I'm like doing everything possible not to hit the ground, but I know I'm gonna hit the ground. So in this position right here, I was like, you gotta do the roll. Now, if you don't know what the roll is, that is when you roll out the, the, the fall. If you dead stop, that's usually when things break. When, when momentum stops, fast momentum just goes to a stop, dead stop, that is when you're gonna break something. So if you can keep your momentum moving, if you can keep rolling, do everything possible not to just stop. That's how you're not gonna get hurt. So I knew in that position, my best bet was to jump to my back. I could roll it out with my back. So I then get into the tuck and roll position right here. And I got it to like right here, like right here my shoulder's a little bruised. But when I got to this position, I knew I could roll it out and not break my collarbone. Because if I would've went straight down, I more than likely would've broke my collarbone because I would've just jammed, you know, all of this right into that uh, asphalt and it would've sucked. So I get to the back and then I can roll it out. Stopping my momentum with the roll. I still got bruised, you know, it still didn't feel great. Like that slam sucked. But that split second of like right here being like, oh, you gotta, you gotta roll this out. And I start to try and twist my body and roll it out is how I was able to avoid disaster right before the ski season starts. So 
when you're skiing and snowboarding, it is a lot harder to roll things out because you get that big, large bowl board on your feet. But once again, we're trying to not have our momentum get stopped by a slam. If we have that happen, that's when major injuries can happen. Also with skiing and snowboarding, never put your hands out or any of these action sports. You want to fall onto your forearms if possible, brace the impact, you know, absorb it with your arms and your and hit your face on the ground. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but it's gonna happen. Now, one thing you can do to protect yourself when you're doing any action sport is get crash pants. My sponsor of the channel is Inhuman Crash Pants. These are padded shorts that protect your butt when skiing and snowboarding. You know, protecting that tailbone is huge. It has hip pads, all kinds of pads. These are linked in the description. Use the code, save some money. Highly recommend getting some crash pants for the season. Protect your butt, having a bruised tailbone. Like there's no excuse. My butt, my tailbone has not been bruised since picking up a pair of those crash pants. Now those are just my tips for avoiding a slam, showing an example of how I did it. You guys probably have a bunch of tips on how to not get broke off. So share those in the comments of this video. I'd love to hear your guys' tips on how you don't get broke off because if I can learn how to not get hurt, I'm gonna take that. That being said, if you have an incredible slam like this one, email it to teamhuffcouse at buffcouseindy.com. We'll make reaction videos of your guys' slams. They're super fun videos. If you haven't seen one of those, check it out right here. And with that, Team Huffcouse, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this daily. daily.